What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. We're going to break down these two diss records as Drake has come back with another one on, on the you know the back-to-back the -back strategy, drops another one while he's waiting on Kendrick, but this uh, seems to be a song that is not on, on how back to back, back to back was the death blow. This seems to be just something in between where Drake is trying to just um, seem to taunt at Kendrick to make him respond. And then we have Chris Brown delivering the knockout blow to Quavo. I, I think. Now, unless Quavo <clears throat> has something that he's going to come back at Chris Brown with, but we're going to break that down. We're going to break down the Drake joint. Um, <laughs> this is wild. So I think we'll do. We're gonna get the Chris Brown and Quavo first. I'm gonna do like a totally reaction video on it. This is really just the breakdown of it. So Chris Brown, what what people have to realize? I think somebody said it, and it, it was uh, how they referred to Chris Brown is uh, very accurate. They said that Chris Brown is a super N word, meaning. He could. People forget that Chris Brown can do a little bit of everything. He can rap. He can. He can sing. He can play basketball. He can dance. He can paint. See, you know I mean, I'm pretty sure he can produce. So I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chris Brown could do a little bit of everything. And he came at Quavo, and people have to realize that Chris Brown's a pretty good rapper, right? I mean, he's not a great rapper. But he's a pretty good rapper. You know, he's probably good enough to take on Quavo. A lot of people don't consider Quavo as very talented when it comes he to rapping, right? One high a lot, you know, a lot of people, I'm not saying myself, but a lot of people don't consider him as, you know, a very good rapper. So Chris Brown's joint is called Weakest Link, right? Like I said, we're just going to do a quick report on it. I'll do a separate re, uh, breakdown, lyrical breakdown. So in here is saying, basically, he said, you're the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo. He first starts by saying, what's all this boss S you talking? You ain't no huncho. In word, you the weakest link of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo. You f my ex ho. That's cool. Now he's talking about Karuchi. I don't give a F, little N word. They said, you still a bitch <laughs> in, in the ad list. Because I effed your ex when you were still with her. B word, I'm up, little N word. So we can only assume that he's talking about Sweetie. Now, if you go back, maybe like a few months ago, there was a picture of Sweetie sitting next to Chris Brown. Y'all remember that? At a game and everybody tried to kind of like blow it off like, ah, so what? Now, is Chris using that as, as, as the show? Like, if, if he did, because so, they, look, they look comfortable sitting next to each other, right? And I always said and always heard that they met up at that game, but they just didn't want people, you know, to get any ideas. That's why they would have, I think they had, like, a person sitting between them or something like that. But I always heard. Now, I thought that, that it happened after her and Quavo. But Chris is insinuating that he smashed Sweetie before, while she was still with Quavo. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that S. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that S. I had her fiending about that D. There's something sweet, Sweetie. There's something sweet about that S. I got some T about that S. T is also sweet, Sweetie. Sweet tea. I got some tea up out that B, but I ain't going to speak about that. <laughs> I ain't paying. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I S on N words. I'm a de fact. I'm a de factor. I'll put a Migo on a ventilator. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody's talking about the line where he said, who um quit trying to be tough you ain't like that um 
you keep showing off. Oh, he also addressed the part about sitting next to him at the um, fashion show. He said, pretty much, I just gave you a pass deep down the south thinking I want to break your face. Um, but, you know, he ain't messing up the money. Oh, wow. And then the line that everybody's talking about was, R.I.P. Takeoff, he the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everyone really wished it was you instead. Well, that's that's nasty work, Chris. But but it's in a battle, man. What what are you gonna say? Like I always, um, that's not you know that's not talk about someone's mother. It's not talk about somebody's dead mother, and he's not talking about takeoff, right? So it's not it's not like he's talking about takeoff. You know, being dead. You know how stuff disrespectful stuff like six nine be doing. He just said rest in peace to him. Everybody wish it was you. Woo! But um, Drake, I mean, uh, Chris Brown going at Quavo, and man, it was, I don't know if Quavo can recover, to be honest with you. I don't know if he had the skills to. And, of course, Drake responding with AI Tupac and AI Snoop Dogg. Now, let's get into that, because I see a lot of people mad at Drake saying, oh, how you know, he, they're trying, you know, mostly Kendrick fans, that they didn't expect Drake to be this clever. But you have to remember what we're dealing with now. Uh, 2024 is not, it's not battling like it used to be. It's not battling like how I came up with. Where dudes just spit their bars, spit it on record, and that was it. Or they go up to Hot 97 or whatever, spit their bars on a freestyle. And then we, hear, we wait on the other rapper to go do it. Or the other rapper to put a record out. 2024 include social media is now included in the battle. It's like even even with Chris Brown dropping the 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 cover art to this, he got a dude looking like Quavo eating a a D I C K D I C K on a on a hot dog on a hot dog bun. That's using social media to help you win the battle. Drake did it with with me, right? With all the memes and stuff like that. So that is now included in, in a 2024 battle. So now since we've been having all this stuff about AI, the AI version of this, is this Kendrick or is that AI? Drake decided to use that against chess moves. Chess moves. He decided to use that against Kendrick since we don't know whether you're this, whether this is you or whether that is you. And I'm asking you to drop. Everybody's asking you to drop. If you ain't listening, maybe you'll listen to your idol. You see, it's the, it's, the, it's the whole mentality behind that. That is Tupac begging you what you going to do when you going to drop, giving him advice on how to attack Drake. At the same time, Drake is putting it out there, pulling a B-Rabbit and jumping ahead of it. Yeah, go say that he, he uh, messages little girls, L letting, letting them know that Drake already is, is getting out ahead and knows they're going to use that so he's probably got another one loaded up that rebuttals all of those things. You see what I'm talking about? Um, this was a chess move to me. They're all hitting up Snoop. They want Snoop to get mad at Drake because Drake used AI Snoop. Now, I have a little more problem with him using AI Snoop than I do have using AI Tupac. Tupac's not here anymore. They're using, um, they putting up, uh, what's those, homo, homo grass or whatever they're called. Hol holograms of um, holograms of Pac and everything else. So he's using this AI as a form of maybe you'll listen to Pac since you ain't listening to me and everyone else is begging you to drop. <laughs> I thought it's, it's a brilliant move. You get mad at him all you want to, but he's using 2024 AI since all y'all want to do AI anyway. Now, the only downfall is now everybody's going to start doing it. We don't really know. And that's why he said a line in there, unless you want to tell us it's not really you. Basically, Snoop is, t is, is telling him, don't come out with the, with the, we know you ain't never shot nobody. We know you ain't never stabbed nobody. <laughs> Boy, I hope Drake don't piss Kendrick off to the point where Kendrick's like, I'm going to show you that I'm tough and we going to fight. You know, Kendrick may challenge Drake. I mean, imagine Kendrick challenge Drake to a celebrity. <laughs> I hope it don't come to blows. But this, to me, is top level trolling by Drizzy. I have no, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's better than, 
them shooting each other up. He didn't threaten because he didn't, he didn't threaten to do no bodily harm to him. And all these raps, he's not saying he's going to beat Kendrick up. <laughs> he just trying to get him to respond. He's saying, where are you? If you ain't listening to me, maybe you'll listen to your legends. The legends you idolize. The ones that so the, passed you the torch at House of Blues. I'm here for it. I'm sorry. Y'all get mad all you want. I'm going to break them down in separate videos. Y'all let me know what you think. Are you mad at Drake that, that he used AI Tupac and AI Snoop? How is that disrespectful? He's not dis They didn't have them disrespecting Kendrick. You know what I mean? He just basically said, you supposed to be the, Mac the new Machiavelli. Pac never knew Kendrick, so he said, I'm, I'm coming to you. Remember Kendrick said, Tupac came to him in a dream? <laughs> level, top level trolling. I'm here for it. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. And he was dropping bars. Let's not act like Drake just got on there clowning like Rick Ross is doing. He's actually dropping bars in, the in between the clowning and let you know he got another one coming. Love it. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.